Well, before we leave you today, we have a great update uh, about one of your stories. Yeah, we love following through. So a little over a week ago, I reported on diving ducks confusing parking lots and other land surfaces for open water, and they wind up uh, hurting themselves and becoming landlocked. Well, today, the Lake Erie Nature and Science Center invited me back for a celebration. Lake Erie is a bird hangout. Seagulls, geese, and more. Here's a bald eagle. On this gray, breezy day, I'm following through, meeting again with the wildlife team from the Lake Erie Nature and Science Center as they carry a crate onto the pier at Brad Street's Landing Park. We want to get a spot that, that uh, birds are known to be hanging around. Inside is the lesser scop, a diving duck I first reported on January 18th. It was in rehab after being rescued from a local road. It's considered landlocked, and then they won't be able to move, and they'll start walking on their wings. Damaging for the ducks, leaving them helpless because they must paddle on water to fly. The center sees up to about 20 cases each year, explaining in winter storms with lots of precipitation, diving ducks can become confused, mistaking parking lots and other surfaces for open water. The lesser scop I showed you in rehab has a lot to quack about. He was slamming food and, and gaining weight. Now ready for a reunion with the great outdoors. That release, I mean, it was simple. He didn't waste any time. <laughs> nope, he wants to go back to where he belongs. That's a good sign that he's swimming out, out that way, too. That means he's strong and, and um, you know, he's got, he gained a lot of, we gained, gained a couple hundred grams since we had him, so. How long do you think it'll take him to kind of find some friends? Oh, pretty quickly. I mean, I guess the, the Lake Erie is an amazing spot for these migrant ducks, so these birds, uh, I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of, of waterfowl come up from the north to stop over on Lake Erie. The center says they received another diving duck as the result of someone seeing my original story, and others have come in for help since then. We have two ruddy ducks, um, and then we also have a golden eye, and a couple other ones that came from another facility in Pennsylvania. Um, so they're all in care right now. They're a little bit worse than what this one was, but they look to be doing okay. The team hoping for more happy ducktails. Even though they come in injured, it's still my favorite part to be able to release them. Plus, they're beautiful. <clears throat> that guy was gone. So yeah. I'm told that Lake Erie is great for diving ducks because it's the shallowest of the Great Lakes, so it makes for a great feasting ground. And if you uh, need some information on helping uh, ducks, if you find one that's stranded, we have a lot more information for you on our website, news5cleveland.com. I'm so glad to see he's back out in yeah, the Yeah, they wild. said he's going to go out and find another flock to be with, and uh, no worries. Definitely no worries. He took that polar plunge. Like, <laughs> he, was, he was ready. He it was, was ready. cold out there today. <laughs> they do just fine.